Hey, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Yahweh, the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give whatever honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I've taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the eye, came across the four corners of the earth, who teach this truth, and rest the life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Low one the videos at a final when I can uh, get something from this video. Okay, quick video on transit, man, on my way back from the gym, man, just thinking. Um, you know, as far as us being in this world, right, you gotta understand this world was, you know, it, it's not this rulership current rulership was made, was not made for us, but it was made to punish us, you know what I mean? To to show us, you know, to be an example on how not to live, just like, you know, just like the scriptures say, you know what I mean, as far as looking upon other kingdoms on how not to live, you know, like America should have looked on the other kingdoms, you know what I mean, and, and used them as an example on how not to live, but instead, guess what, they, you know, they live, you know, like the other cities and the other rulerships live times 10, man, you know, but this is a direct reflection of what happens, you know, when we're not one with our power. Okay, and in times to come, we are going to be one with our power, and it's kind of happening now because we have the truth. The truth is out, man. Okay, you know every you know Jake is waking up, man. I ain't gonna say everybody because two thirds is prophesied to be destroyed, you know. But you got two thirds who even know that they're Israelites. You know what I mean? So the truth is definitely out here. So our work is not not going unnoticed, man. You know, our work is not going unnoticed. You know what I mean? And not just from the people, but from the Lord as well, because scripture said that the Lord is not unrighteous to figure out labor of love, man. You know, our whole job is to prophesy, to warn the people before destruction come, right? And to bid the elect to the marriage, man. Okay, Lord willing, we'd be part of that number as well, you know? But in the current rulership, yeah, this is how you not, this is how you don't, this is, you know, you not, this is an example on how not to live, man. Now we know both sides. Why we know the left hand side when we're made right when we're made per perfect we're going to know the right hand side man you know brother just sent out a picture man uh brother just uh you know visited la and um i believe it, I, he sent a picture of the gas prices out there man and even out here in arizona man it's almost five bucks you know out there it's five bucks five and a half dollars man <laughs> you know what i mean so you know everything is being hyped up you know everything is being you know everything is being um you know you're basically hyped up man i'm looking for that word uh everything is being um inflated you know which goes to show you that i mean it's a fallen kingdom man it's a fallen kingdom man you know people panicking people not knowing what the fuck going on you got <laughs> news between you know russia and, and america and all that you know what i mean so people are panicking because they don't have the lord man you know we had the lord in this time so guess what we understand that it's a protection and the lord is going to lift up a standard for those who he have mercy on man the lord will not be part of that number you know the rest of the world, I mean, this is, it's going to be hell for them, man. And this is what happens when you have a faulty leadership. This is an exact, as exactly what happens, man. It's a clear example. You know, so it's a good lesson to learn, man, because everything that we've been through, it, it was prophesied, man, uh, in Deuteronomy 28, you know, <laughs> the curse, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, we were the lower, lowest people, but now the, you know, this captivity was so bad. I said it last week at camp, man. This captivity was so bad, and it's the worst because we didn't even know who we were. Like, our whole identity had got wiped out. And if it wasn't for the Spirit of the Lord, man, we wouldn't know. If it wasn't for the Lord having mercy on us, we still wouldn't know. You know? If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai going on the cross, we still wouldn't know. If it wasn't for a sacrifice, we wouldn't know. You know, but then you got men who know that the Hebrew is like saying that Yahweh Shai, you know, trying to, trying to, you know, egg, you know, X out the Lord. You can't do that, man. Because the only reason why you know is because of him, man. So you should, it should be high praises, man. You should give him all praises, man. But you, you know, I mean, if that's your, you know, if that's your lot, that's your lot. 
you know, you'll be punished, man. You know, but if you can get it and understand it, repent, man. Repent, you know. That's what we're here to say, repent. You know, so for all those who, who have the mind to repent, man, repent. You know, if you're able to, if it's in your spirit to do so. You know, which I, I, I highly recommend that it be in your spirit, even for brothers that, because we fall too. We fall short as well, you know. But we get back up and keep trucking, keep trucking as well. We know the end result, man. You got to have vision in this truth. Okay, that's one thing I learned, you know, a couple of years I've been in. You got to have vision and you got to be able to see the end result. If you can't see the end result and, and really any much thing, if you're not prudent, you know, and, and pretty much anything that you do, it's not going to be success. It, it, you'll give up. You give up. You got to see the long, you know, the you got to see the longevity of this. You know, scriptures tell you that the the you know the race is not given to the swift. So it's not about you know who who runs the fastest. It's not about who you know what I mean. It's about balancing this thing. It's about a day at a time, a day at a time, a video at a time, a video at a time. You know, that's what it's about. You know, because you it's like you know when I used to run track, one of the hardest races to run is that 400 meter. For brothers who run track, they know what I'm talking about. Or who ran track, they know what I'm talking. They know what I'm talking about. You know, now it's a it's a sprint, but you understand that it's you got to be strategic with it. You know, you got to be strategic with it. So therefore, when you get to that last hundred yards, you know you're not burning out because indeed, right, that last hundred yards is the hardest. <laughs> That's the hardest, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know. So if you're not strategic with it, and you bound to damn near pass out. You bound you bound to not want to do it again. You bound to not want to finish the race, man. Or even for you know for those who ran mile like the mile, you know what I mean. You know or did you know relays and things of that nature. But it was long distance running. You got to understand. You got to pace yourself. You got to have balance in this thing, man. You got to have vision. Balance and vision. I can't express how important that is, man. You know can't express how important that is man but i understand at the end of time right which we're approaching right for this kingdom right I understand that hey yeah it's gonna get dark but you know the lord is gonna lead us man this truth is that light man and the lord his his mercy is gonna be that light for for us man okay always remember that yeah it's gonna get dark you know but like apostle gabar said you know in the video that he did um a video that he did uh, that they was on the highways and bars a couple years ago, and um, he said, you know, brothers, you know, the things that's coming is, is for the the world, you know, and that they escape all that. And I'm roughly paraphrasing what the elder said. He said, if they escape all that, then that end all that end result, that end all be all is the missiles. You're not escaping it. You, the Lord, has to save you out of that. <laughs> he has to. Ain't no escape from that. You're not running from that, man. It says, for in one hour, this place should be nothing, man. Revelation uh, 18, 17, if I'm not mistaken. You know, it's a lucky FIM. You know, but for in one hour, this place coming to not, man. Where the hell can you go in one hour? I don't give a fuck if you in a fast. I don't care if you in an airplane, man. A jet. You know, you're not really get, getting that far, man. Okay, you're not, you're damn sure you ain't escaping no missile, man. You know, so what? How do you escape it? Through your works, through having faith, through having vision, being balanced, praying, right? Following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities. Okay? This is how, man. You know? Bad, yeah, man, just a quick video. Um, just wanted to, you know, put that out, man. You know, vision, right? Vision balance you know vision and balance man that's two key things i learned man in this thing you know in order for the, you gotta have you gotta be imprudent man you know so with that little one video is edifying i want to give all praise and glory to you how by hashimi how was shot by hashimi kakadash i want to tell you brothers keep pushing on to the next shalom